Jess and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today and clicking on this video. If it's your first time here, be sure to head on down below and hit that subscribe button. Um, we just recently hit 2,500 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank y'all so, so much. So I realized it has been a hot minute since I've sat down and done a favorites video. And you know what? Things are changing. Now that I'm in college, I feel like I love either the same things or like completely different things. And I thought, what better thing than to just sit down and tell you guys all about my fall favorites. So I have like some clothing things, some beauty things. I don't know. I have some random things and I just want to show you everything. It's kind of in no particular order. But my first favorite is something that I was recently introduced to. This month I have been rocking my sunglasses from Diff Eyewear. I am absolutely obsessed with them. Oh my gosh. So this pair that I'm wearing right now is the Cosmopolitan and oh my gosh, I love these. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know, I go to the University of Texas and I go to Texas football games like every Saturday. I mean like not on away games, but um, when we have daytime games, the way the student section is sitting, it is positioned directly in the sun. So you are sitting in the sun for like four hours. And so one week I forgot my sunglasses and it was a terrible time. But just this past weekend, I got to wear my diff sunglasses. Um, no, what's really awesome about these is when you purchase a pair, they actually use their, like they use part of that money to give back. And so what they do is they use that to buy reading glasses for someone who can't necessarily afford that. I also have a pair that are the Bellas and um, Hello. My favorite thing about these is I feel like that someone famous would hide behind these, so I'm a big fan, as you can tell. Oh, I know not everyone's into the big sunglasses trend, but I have been so on that recently. Oh my gosh, I love these. If you um, think these are cute, they've got a bunch of different uh, selections to choose from, and I actually have a discount code, which will be linked in the bio, and I'll have... Um, or I guess in the description box. But yeah, if you're interested in purchasing them, some of these, they I have all the details in the description box down below. Now, with the temperature getting a little bit colder in Texas, something that I have been loving recently has been pullovers. I don't know if we've ever talked about this here. I am so obsessed. Like, do y'all remember last year? Like, I feel like the True Grit pullovers were like super big and I got um, a cute kind of lookalike off of Amazon. At this point, I don't even care what they look like. I love pullovers. Um, this one is the one I've been wearing the most. It is from North Face and it's kind of this like I can't tell how much you can tell it's kind of a pinky gray violet kind of I don't know it's a really good neutral though and I like it a lot and so this with like some yoga pants all day long I have oh, I had another one like oh literally I have one sitting right here this one I was wearing earlier this one was my mom's and it's from Old Navy and um if you're wondering why everything's orange because like how come horns all day but yeah so I um Part of it's because it's getting colder, but then also I get cold super easily, so having something like that, it's really nice to just have something to throw on like that. Kind of on a similar track, living in a dorm, things that um, I learned is absolutely essential that I use every day. Slippers. Um, this pair that I'm holding up, these are from, I believe, Bear Paw. I got these for Christmas last year, and I wear these all the time because what you, f I don't know about anyone else, but like, I don't want to walk around the dorm barefoot, like, other people live here. I don't want to be barefoot. So I wear this. I also like that they have hard bottoms So if I ever want to like walk, I don't know I don't usually walk around outside in these but you could these could be like actual shoes I just don't but so for me It's like when I wake up in the morning or if I ever need to go down the hall and do stuff I always throw these on and it has been so convenient and so I never was a big slippers girl in the past but like I gotta say, now I am so, so into slippers. I'm actually looking for a new pair. I, I just want slippers that match my pajamas because I'm kind of crazy like that. So another pair of shoes I have been loving recently are my New Balances. I don't know if I've ever put any of this on my YouTube before, but um, I'm like a grandma. I want some good arch support. I think these are really fun because I think, I don't know. I kind of feel like though the sneaker trend's kind of in right now. And so I have these, I actually have like a pink pair of these that are like super bright, but I really like these gray ones because they're so neutral, they go with everything. And so I, that's what I've been doing recently because I used to buy everything super bright colors and I like that, but you kind of, I don't know. I like having some neutrals to just always match with everything. These are the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned. Like, I don't know if I can ever buy other tennis shoes. They're kind of, they're not the lightest. Like, I know I used to really like Nikes because they're super light, but I find them to be so, so comfortable. Something else I've been loving recently, different track from clothing, but I have, oh my gosh, I just finished reading the book Uninvited. I know I mentioned this on my channel probably like less than a year ago, but I think I got this around Christmas or after Christmas last year. I really wanted this book because everyone told me it's just like an amazing read. I started reading it and stopped, but I also really think that's a God thing. Like, I think I was supposed to read that at this point in my life. Like, I think this is exactly what I needed to read. But the book is called Uninvited, Living Loved When You Feel Less Than, Left Out and Lonely. It sounds really sad and 
I mean, I guess when you think about it, it's kind of like not the happiest subject, but like being a girl is hard. And this was something that, oh my gosh, every day I would like sit down and read a chapter during my quiet time in the past like month. And it just like spoke to me so deeply. I would highly recommend it. Um, I know a lot of people like actually have done like Bible studies on it. I haven't done that much, but I enjoy it a lot. And I think that there's a lot that can be taken from it. A couple beauty things really quick. Something that I love because my friend Sarah, she let me borrow hers and now I owe her some. But um, this is the Burt's Bees Acne Solution Toner. And I think I could be wrong, y'all, but I always used to hear really good things about witch hazel. I don't know what witch hazel is, but it's good for your skin. It's got witch hazel and lemongrass. It smells nice. It feels good. Um, when Austin was having their water ban, if y'all don't know, um, Austin received like a lot, a lot of rain, like more than it usually ever gets to the point that they were like, okay, the water facilities cannot keep up with cleaning it fast enough with the amount of water we have. And it was a whole thing. And so I was trying not to like use water. And so Sarah let me borrow hers. So I just ran out and got some today that I love. And so, yeah, I actually think it really did help clear up my skin. Recently, my skin, it's not too bad. I'm kind of excited about that. But um, yeah, if you're looking for a new face thing, I really like it. I just use like a cotton pad and I use it at night and it's super, super good. So my final thing, I feel like this isn't that many favorites, but like, I have a bunch, but there's some other things that are gonna be featured in other videos that I've been loving, but like I didn't want to spoil it, so those will be coming later. But the final thing that I, oh, I have, I swear I've talked about this so many times, but this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use the shade Medium Brown. This stuff works wonders. Obviously it works better when like your brows are like all well kept and like nice, but this is like the best for your eyebrows. Well, I, I know it's really good whether you have a lot of brow or a little bit of brow. I always have a lot of brow, um, but for me what's nice is certain parts of my eyebrows just are like less hair. You just kind of gotta maybe fill in your arch or fill in the end and it's just like really good for shaping your brows to be like nice and defined, but like not bad. I feel like you can't really mess it up with this if you get the right shade. So yeah, I just went and bought some more today because I recently ran out. Over the summer, I wasn't really wearing makeup that much and um, I tried to go without it and I went probably two months without it and those were dark days for my eyebrows. But yeah, if you're interested in picking that up, I just go to like my Ulta. I know there's some at Sephora, like places like that. Also one time my Ulta and Sephora were like all out so I ended up ordering some on Amazon, but yeah. So guys, these are just a few of the things I'm loving right now during fall. Um, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing is. It could be beauty, fashion, whatever. Also, if you're interested in diff eyewear, don't forget I'm gonna be linking everything you need to know about them in my uh, description bar down below. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.